Hey everyone, I'm early again because I had to leave early because of snow again. But it wasn't so uh, wasn't so bad. Wow, it's bright. Um, the wind wasn't blowing as hard as it was yesterday. In fact, it wasn't uh, blowing hardly at all, even though there was quite a bit of snow on the ground uh, on the road. So. But I guess when the, the snow plows came through, um, I was actually going home. I don't know if they went through again after I was already home, um, but I actually followed the snow plow in, in the town. So I didn't have to worry about anything. And I just went super slow. I didn't really care. I mean, I think, I think initially since it wasn't blowing so hard, um, I mean, it was, but it's daylight and you can see a little bit better. Uh, I went, I don't know, it was like 40 or something like that. Uh, but then when I, I seen the snow plow, I, I started slowing down. I think I, I think I had my, uh, I, think, I think I had my cruise set to like, was it like 30 or something like that? And I just sat there and cruised. And he was, he was away, you know, a ways ahead of me. No one's behind me, so uh, I just knew the, the the path was clear and if anyone was coming on the left side it was uh it's easier for me to see them or speed up or slow down because you know sometimes they might want to use that the the right lane because the left lane is still blocked because they only went in the town and not out of town so um, yeah it gets pretty bad in, in some spots where it caves in and uh like you have you have nowhere to go and I, th I don't know how long that piece or stretch of the road is but it's a pretty good uh, ways to get caught and thrown out into a field or something and there's like ditches in that area too so um, it's it's not a great thing to, to experience but uh, I know it gets well right now when they pushed it off to the side right now it's probably sitting at like 8 to 10 feet right now um, I'm not sure how much the hill is there, but uh, it's it's about eight to ten feet right now, and uh, I know there's lots of times um, where it's probably like twenty feet, uh, and it looks kind of like uh, uh, going through a tunnel in a sense. Not really, because it's not fully enclosed. But I don't know if that's ever happened. Honestly, I was I haven't lived here that long, but I know it gets pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I'm tired though. I try to get so much sleep. I try to go to bed early. <clears throat> I tried to, I tried to stay asleep. And, and uh, uh, I gotta be honest. I mean, even going through physical therapy and having to come back to work, it's not full time. Um, but I'm working kind of full time, in a sense. Even though I'm just uh, moving stuff on the shelves forward and and taking out uh, cardboard and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm not lifting anything heavy, not really. I'm just moving and pushing. Uh, but it still takes a toll. Um, it it really super hurts, and and I know that waking up sometimes it you know has like sharp pains, but it'll go away like as soon as I wake up sometimes. Uh, but I know it's I know it's there, so I have to move or adjust. Uh, laying on my back is almost the only thing I can do while I sleep uh, because I have a CPAP mask on, but laying on my sides has been a little bit more bearable. It just hasn't been because of my arm. Uh, and today I, I, know, I bought two gaming chairs. Uh, I lifted them with my right hand, threw them in the cart, and then slid one and both of them in the, the vehicle. And one of them I kind of threw in there, but, uh, but yeah, not being able to lose, use my left hand sucks. Um, I wouldn't even attempt it except for just positioning or using it up against my my body for for anything if I need to. But I never, I never lift anything and haven't been for a while. I haven't even done push-ups, and that's that's one thing I I think I miss doing because I I I seen the pretty much immediate benefits 
of, of it is I was doing, if not all at once, sometimes it was broken up, but uh, I never really did it the same the whole time, but like 60 uh, push-ups, that's what I got up to. And, and then, then when I started feeling discomfort, I didn't even do any push-ups at all. I stopped doing them. Um, and it wasn't like I did it and I hurt myself doing it. It was just I, I noticed it was hurting or my shoulder was hurting, my neck was hurting and I couldn't even do it. So having a neck pain, it's like when you sleep wrong on it and you have that, you know, that neck pain on the side or something and it's sometimes just a little cramped and, and uh, you can't move it that well. Well, that's what happened. And when that happens, you can't do any push-ups because you can't keep your head up straight. You can't balance it. It hurts. So it was since then I haven't done anything. I haven't even done any sit-ups either. Um, I don't know it sounds bad, but I, I know I have gained a little bit more pounds because of it, but I haven't done any sit-ups either because of my arm too, because the the strain up on top on this side. Because I, I can lift myself on my right side, like I can pick things up. Uh, I can move, I can, you know, pretty much do a lot of things, not too heavy things, but um, I can pretty much do a lot of things with my, my right hand. But it just, when it comes to my left hand, I, I could feel it, like, almost immediately, where it's like a rubber band, and it's starting to pull, and and, and then it starts having a, a sharp pain there. So, you know, I, I, I know my limits, but, um, yeah, sleeping sucks sometimes when you have, when you have a pain in your neck. Uh, that's why I lay on my back most of the time, because of the CPAP mask. But yeah, I didn't get much sleep. I, uh... When it was my sister's birthday, happy birthday. Uh, my parents, both my parents' birthday is tomorrow. Yes, the exact same birthday. They are a year apart. Um, kind of weird, but it is it is what it is. My, uh, uh, my brother was only what, a year uh, older than me, a year and eight days. Uh, cause his birthday was, uh, March 22nd and mine's, uh, March 30th. So, uh, we did, we, when we grew up, we had to, uh, well, I don't know if it was a necessity thing or how many times it happened, but I know it happened quite a few times where we shared birthdays on the same day cause it was close, you know, that's just what we did. And, you know, not, uh, having a lot of money, you know, that's, you know, it's just easier. You have one cake one party you know two presents i mean you don't have to buy two cakes and and have all that jazz so i i, I kind of understood it i know my kids weren't you know born around the same time but uh if i could have i would have you know to save money i i would have had all their birthdays on the same day it would have just been so much easier just think about it like it's cool and you can always say hey we're all going to have this fun day all at the same time. So it's going to be great, right? And then you just like pick the oldest person and, and that's that's your birthday pretty much. Your birthday party. And, you know, when you get old enough and you have your own birthdays, it's it's your own day. You know, you can do whatever you want. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't really, that, I wouldn't like that. Uh, but I'm pretty tired. Uh, the game supposed to have tomorrow has been rescheduled for the 11th so hopefully nothing is happening then on the on the 7th I have to hopefully if I can also go to uh, a doctor's appointment which is quite a bit of ways and over a couple passes and I don't know if we'll be able to go but um, we'll see yeah, that's it for the day, I think, yeah, I'll talk to you later, have a great night.